Thanks for tuning in, this is the Lytho Miner, and in this video I'm going to go over the hash rates mining on the GTX 1660 Super, so let's check this out. Okay, so I do own the GTX 1660 Super from Gigabyte. Now I'm going to go over the hash rates mining on nice hash on stock settings, but for Ethereum I'm going to go ahead and overclock the graphics cards because it's more memory intensive but I'll do more detailed testings in future videos down the road. Okay, so this is the hash rates on the GTX 1660 Super on stock settings, but I'll go ahead and sum up the most relevant hash rates. So for Ethereum, I was averaging around 26.3 mega hashes. For Ravencoin, I was averaging around 16.1 mega hashes. For Grincoin, I was averaging around 5.2 grass per second. And for Beam, I was averaging around 25.7 hashes. Now for Ethereum, I went ahead and overclocked the graphics card because Ethereum is more memory intensive. So I put the memory at plus 900, the core at zero, and the power limit at 80. Now with these overclock settings, I was averaging around 30.3 mega hashes on Ethereum. But let's go ahead and run this miner and check this out. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mining results, mining on the GTX 1660 Super. I'll have a more detailed video going over the power, hash rates, and overclock. I also want to test stability, so I'll have test results that are a lot longer. Now to compare this with other graphics cards, it's pretty much in par with a GTX 1660 Ti, but just cheaper. But I'll have a more detailed video comparing the 1660 Super with other graphics cards as well, so stay tuned. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decide to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.